Today is Wednesday, December the 29th, 2010. I'm going to be document, documenting a carbon amplifier. I do repair work for some uh, musicians here in El Paso, and this is a beautiful one. Looks like it's brand new. I think it's quite vintage, though. It's got a couple of 12-inch uh, speakers. It runs four 6BQ5 six EL84s. Very nice and clean. Output was really low and distorted. It runs uh, five 12AX ovens over there. Had to replace four of them. Um, one of the things I'm going to show about this is its output. It's actually uh, quite amazing for four EL84s. We're going to be looking at it here on an oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, so we can analyze the harmonics. This is harmonic distortion and this is its voltage output. We take its voltage, square it, and divide it by 8 because it's run into a couple of 8 ohm, one of the one channel of a pair of 8 ohm loads down here. So we have the input here, terminated our input where our guitar would normally go is right there. And the speaker, of course, is right here. We got it on eight ohms. Okay, we're just going to be testing it right now. I've got it in. I've, I've selected one. This is the low level input, and I've got it set. Here's our frequency that we'll be reading right here. Like I said, at a kilohertz. There's our nice sine wave output. Very nice. Here's our spectral output. We see no harmonic. Well, we see a little bit of second, and third, and fourth harmonic there because we're already up to 0.6% distortion, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all for a uh, for a guitar amplifier. Seven volts across an 8 ohm mode, so that's seven squared divided by eight. As we crank this up, it actually does quite well. Let's see if we can watch all the equipment at once, and then I'll move up there to it. 0.8% at 13 volts. It's still nice. Very nice sine wave down there in the left hand corner of the oscilloscope. I don't think we can see the spectrum analyzer from here. Let's get it on up to at least 1%. There we go. Not bad. 16 and a half volts at 1%. Oops, excuse me. 16.5 squared, 8 divide. That's 34 watts. 34 watts at 1%. Not bad at all. Nice, clean sine wave at a kilohertz. We can see a little bit of uh, second and third. That looks like probably the fifth harmonic out there. We won't go into all that. I have a different video on how to use this spectrum analyzer. It's not bad. I'm really quite impressed with this. It's actually quite a bit of power at 1%. But this is uh, in channel 1. Volume's about halfway up. And we're running this at uh, minus 20 dB. So, uh, fa fairly, a reasonably high level input. Now, this soak and volume 2, we got to turn it down because this is the high gain channel. Switch us over to 2. Now I do know, because since I've been playing with it, I'm going to have to go down to at least minus 40 here. I'll put another 20 dB on our, on our oscillator. And then come back over here. I'm going to start turning these two very slowly. This one is the input to the preamp, so it doesn't take much to overdrive the preamp, even at minus 40 input, minus 40 dB input. So I have to crank this one up very carefully and then the volume control, otherwise I'll overdrive the amplifier, uh, the, the, uh, the preamp so quickly. Watch what happens here. Well, okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. There it goes. Yeah, see, I've over. The reason we got a square wave out there almost is because I've already overdriven the, amp the, the input, so I've got to back this way down. Now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm backing this down. And I've got this as high as I can go. 
without distorting. If I go any higher on that one, see it, oops, turns into a square wave. We don't want that. Now, I'm just dealing with the volume. Not near as nice a sine wave, but a whole lot more sensitive and a whole lot more distortion. It's not clipping, but that certainly, uh, I guess it has its sound. I'm not a musician, so uh, I don't know how that sounds, but that may be very appealing. And I can, I'll crank up the, the soak a little bit more. Ooh, see, it'll, it'll start flattening pretty quick, because that's our output tube. Our output tube just simply can't do any more. We've got it up in 10% distortion creating music isn't too bad. So we got a 10% mark there at uh, 17 point, we call it 17.8. 17.8 squared, 8 divide, 39.6 watts. So this little, uh, this little amplifier do uh, a full 40 watts there. There's our spectral display. We got a we had a heck of a third order harmonic there. Second order harmonic distortion. This is our fundamental. That's two kilohertz. Three kilohertz, four, five. So our uh, our third harmonic is, uh, is what's predominant there. Of course, aside from the fundamental. And as I crank it back down, those distortion products should go away pretty quick. There they go. And they start dropping off. And it's interesting how the second order uh, harmonic uh, is actually greater than the third since it's in a push-pull amplifier. Kind of interesting. Quite a nice looking sine wave. We're still doing 13 volts at uh, less than 2%. That's interesting how the second order is higher. And that's on channel 2. I noticed that a while ago. I'm going to go back to channel 1 where it'll drop dramatically. I have to go back up here and go from minus 40 to minus 20. Oops, and back that off a bit. Okay, well, actually, we got the same thing there. Get those. This is our, our fundamental frequency of 1 kilohertz right here. This is our uh, first harmonic, harmonic distortion. 13 point five or so at one point just over one percent not bad really actually one of the best guitar amplifiers I've uh, I've worked on in quite a long time very very nice just thought you might enjoy the old carver carvin excuse me it's a carvin beautiful beautiful instrument a la carvin Bel Air 212 made in USA so are the speakers Absolutely amazing.